welcome to a get ready with me video but this is not just any get ready with me we are going to the baftas ah, pinch me i can't believe i'm going to the baftas i was invited as a guest with piano cruises who are one of my brand partners i'm a very proud ambassador i love sharing about cruises and helping with your holidays and it is an honor to be invited as a guest to attend the baftas as they are sponsoring one of the categories they're like the headline sponsor and the sponsor for the memorable moment award and actually they've not sponsored this video by any means and they've not asked me to vlog anything I just thought it'd be fun to bring you along and a lot of you have been asking what products I'm using hair beauty makeup stuff so as you can tell I'm in a hotel I'm actually at the Hilton South Gatwick Airport because I'm flying to Antigua on Monday morning it's actually Saturday the 13th of May it's the day before the BAFTAs and I thought we'd start it now to get ready now we're gonna start the getting ready process we're gonna have a pamper night that flashing is because I've got the TV on Eurovision has just started and it looks like a lot of fun actually so I thought I'd have that on in the background have a bit of a pamper do a face mask do I've even got a foot mask and do my hair tonight and just sort of unpack some of my stuff because I've got loads to sort out I need to get out all my BAFTA bits. I'm going to show you my dress, my shoes, my bag. But if you're new around here, hi, my name is Brogan and I make home lifestyle and travel vlogs. So please do hit subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Lovely to have you. I don't often do many red carpet kind of events. I was very lucky to go to a Royal Garden party last week when I'm filming this. Yeah. And that was pretty epic. I thought that nothing would top it. And then I get invited to the BAFTAs, which is also equally as amazing. I can't even fathom it. I just can't even process that I'm going. So obviously very different, very glam. And I'm sure I'm gonna fangirl when I see so many celebs. I know that Lewis Capaldi's playing, which is gonna be amazing. And it just, it should be a really nice afternoon. And I've never really, thought about the logistics of how they do the BAFTAs, but we've got to be there quite early. I think it's like one o'clock I'm picking up my tickets and it starts at around three or four and it ends about eight. So it's quite a long day. And so my getting ready window in the morning is quite small. So we need to start doing some of that tonight just to help the prep. I don't have a glam squad. I don't have anyone doing my hair and makeup. I'm doing it all myself. So you and me coming along, this has been a waffly introduction. Let's just start, shall we? And see how we go. Alrighty, I have made my makeup station here. It looks a little bit excessive, but I'll be honest, it's just because I packed a bit of everything. I just thought I'll just get everything I want. So makeup, I washed my brushes so they're all clean and nice. Some hair bits. And then I wasn't sure how I wanted my hair. So originally I just packed my straighteners and curlers, but then I threw in my air wrap and I think I'm gonna air wrap it. I've got this like little technique where I straighten and wrap it at the same time. I'll try and show you. What I'm thinking is that if I do it tonight, then that's one less thing to worry about in the morning. And if it looks absolutely awful, then I can just redo it, can't I? So I thought I'd try and get ahead of myself. <laughs> I will show you my dress in the morning when we put it on, but I wanted to show you that Aldo sent me a pair of shoes. Actually, they gifted me these at, in store. I went into, um, into the store in London for a press day, and I told them I was going to the BAFTAs, and they were like, oh, let us fit you out with special shoes. So I ended up going for these. Because I've got a long dress, I don't have to wear heels. So I went with these. They're, they're like a low, flat heel, but look how pretty that heel is. These are so beautiful these would make amazing bridal shoes actually if you were looking for something like that i love them so much so i'll leave them linked below if you're interested so they're my shoes and they also sent me the matching bag let me just get this out of here so this is the absolutely adorable beautiful sparkly matching bag it is tiny i'm not gonna lie to you and I have already filled it. I actually have snacks in there already because we're not gonna eat for about eight hours. So I've got some sneaky little <laughs> snacks, portable phone charger, I'm gonna put my headphones in there and then I'm just gonna hold my phone and hope for the best. But yeah, we'll figure that out tomorrow. We'll pack this together. I've got like a tiny little perfume and I'll probably take a lipstick. And yeah, I just love that it matches. So I'm gonna leave these out ready for tomorrow and then I'll show you my dress tomorrow as well. I'm out the shower. I bought my own robe with me and I actually bought this from M&S recently. I wanted a lightweight summer thin robe. I used to have one from Primark that I have worn for years, but it was so small. You may have seen it in previous videos. So I bought a new one from M&S and it's much longer and I got it in a bigger size. And actually to be honest, you probably could just size down. I got an extra large, but I probably could have done with the large. It's got a hood, which is actually 
quite heavy on the back but never mind it's the first time I'm using it and it's nice to get ready in but I've washed my hair I use Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner I didn't use any leave-in conditioners or anything like that just my normal shampoo and conditioner but I did use in the shower they had some shampoo and conditioner bottles on the wall and I just used some of their conditioner extra on the ends because my hair is feeling really dry at the moment probably doesn't help I'm about to do a load of heat on it but when I'm away next week I am probably going to have it more naturally curly I'm going to let my hair sort of towel dry for 10-15 minutes so while I do I'm going to pop on this face mask I buy these on Amazon now I originally found them in Selfridges they are definitely expensive however well worth it it's by the brand Rodial and this is their vitamin C energizing face mask and I buy them in a pack of five and I only use them for like special occasions trips away you know it's one of these ones that's like double folded over I should probably do it over the sink actually um I was watching Eurovision as I said but I think I'm gonna switch because I've just downloaded Paramount Plus free trial for a week and I'm watching the flat share because I read the book by Beth O'Leary last year and I've been keen to watch the tv show also I had my nails done today I went for this sort of hot pink color because I wanted like a nice bright color for holiday but I didn't want it to clash with my dress and ideally I would have gone for something a bit more neutral to wear with my dress but I'm only wearing that dress I'm going to the awards for one day whereas I'm in Antigua for a week so you know I had to try and find a good middle ground anyway this is now going to go on wow this is quite something but I've got the face mask on now so this lip bit is annoying I'm not going to speak I'm going to go and watch a bit of the flat share the mask is coming off that is actually really gross let's get rid of that I'm also going to put my moisturizer on I'm trying a skincare brand called Dermatica I've had it for about hmm, maybe like two weeks now I'm trying this out see how I'm going I need to uh, take some new pictures actually so I can compare how my skin's doing but it's looking and feeling quite nice then you leave that in for a couple of minutes so while I wait before I put my moisturizer on which at the moment I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge I normally have a night cream as well but I didn't pack it I just thought I'd just do one um, I'm gonna brush my teeth now my skincare is done my skin's feeling very nice I am gonna do my hair so first of all let's brush through it and get some product in it I have so many things I'm using at the moment but what I packed with me these two things so I've got the GHD heat protect spray as my hair like I said is feeling a bit damaged and then the Sebastian dark oil I had a hairdresser use it on me once and I liked it so I bought it and it lasts ages so we'll run that through the ends heat protect spray let's put this in I've had my Dyson Airwrap for quite a while now. I think we are coming up to two years maybe. And I really love it. There are loads of different techniques and everyone's hair is obviously very different. And I have naturally curly, quite frizzy hair. As you can see, it's already starting to naturally curl. The only solution I've really found is basically doing the blow drying while having a hair straightener straight in the top bit just to get down the frizziness because if I don't straighten I just look like a poodle so it's the only method I'm not sure if it's maybe the best method because it's quite a lot of heat I don't do it very often but it works so we're gonna get my hair straighteners out as well I have a few different hair straighteners I've got the cloud nines I also have an old pair of GHDs and then I got gifted these at Christmas time and I really like them so I've been packing them they are Remington I'm not sure what ones they don't actually say which model but they just look like this and they came with a little mat so I always bring that too I have the thicker barrel and I also have the one the newer one where you can change direction rather than having two separate ones you have to take on and off all the time so much easier um, I did actually bring the hair dry attachment with me too in case I change my mind and want my hair straight I will just go straight in with my hair wet like this I won't try and take off some of the wet because obviously it's been in the towel for like 15 minutes and then I'm going to use a ton of little clips I got these from Home Bargains and Primark I think these ones are Home Bargains and clip like pin the curls I'm going to divide my hair up into sections <laughs> all the way to the top i know it's noisy sorry all the way to the top we're going to try and get it dry and it dries pretty quick i'm just trying to flatten it down and then 
once I can see that that top bit is dry, it's still a bit wet right now, going with the hair straighteners. And I literally straighten this bit here whilst the uh, thing is still on. Shot of cold up and then I'm gonna clip the curl and I use the groove of the wand to pit, get the pin and then we leave that like that. So I want the curls to be sort of straight and then loosely curled at the bottom. That's sort of the look I want to go for. And then I either keep the curls tight, I can touch them up tomorrow. I have my curling wand with me too. Or I bought a wide tooth comb because I've quite enjoyed brushed out curls. That look is quite natural and nice. Because my hair does have a natural wave and curl to it, the curls do last pretty well for me. I will be putting sprays and stuff in too, just to help. I know that obviously I'm blow drying all the curls the same way, which then could be a bit bunched up. So if you wanted it to be sort of obviously more voluminous and you want curls going either way, then you can obviously do that. I have done that before, but I just quite like how it looks just doing all the curls on each side with each way if that makes sense um so yeah, that's what i'm gonna do so this is what my hair is currently looking like all clipped up i normally do the curls a bit thicker so i normally take bigger chunks of hair but i wanted more curls this time so i've done less hair but i realize i don't have enough clips i've only got one more and then uh two little clippy ones that go around your face so um We'll see how this goes. Uh, it might be that I have to take some out at the bottom and repin them at the top. Either way, I am making progress as I'm doing this without clipping it. And I'm probably gonna have to redo the top section because I'm obviously gonna sleep on it. I just thought I'd show you what the curls look like because they look so nice. So, do that. Obviously, they're gonna look different when I've actually finished, but nearly there, nearly there. There's quite a lot of frizz going on on the top, but that's okay, we're gonna deal with that. Last section, and then we'll take all the clips out and see how it's looking. All right, let's take all the clips out, and there's quite a lot going on in here. Oof. Getting ready the night before the BAFTAs. I absolutely never thought, ever, that I'd be invited to something like that. In fact, a couple of my friends that are going have done lots of red carpets and lots of glitzy glammy things before and I've actually only ever been on a red carpet once and I was a plus one for my friend Gary. We saw Mary Poppins about five years ago now. So yeah, I haven't ever really done anything like this before so I am feeling the pressure to like, I don't know, look my best I guess but I've got to get myself all the way to London too so we just got to hope and see how things go. But right, as you can see they are all bunched up this is fine because this is how I want to sleep. Oh, I've missed a bit at the back. I've completely missed that section. <laughs> okay, let's sort that out first. Oh. Sleep on it like this, let the curls drop, and in the morning we'll see how it all looks, maybe brush through it, and then I should have sort of nice loose waves. But this is how it's looking right now. So now I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. I've just woken up. Did set my alarm for half past seven, but my body just decided we're waking up. This is what my hair looks like. Literally just woken up, haven't touched it. This side's looking quite nice. You can see the curls have dropped nicely and they're forming well. And then this side is also doing okay, but I have a whole chunk here where the curl has come forward. I don't know if I accidentally dried it that way. I mean, it was, you know, late last night, so I need to redo that one. Um, but I could redo it with the air wrap, but I do actually have my GHD curve curling wand with me So I think I'm going to do that and go through the whole thing and like this section here needs redoing um, But it's looking good and it saves me having to do it this morning. So yeah, it, yeah, actually that <laughs> Okay, good. I've ordered room service to arrive between 8 and 8.30 and I've ordered a big mix of stuff because I thought that I could just sort of graze and snack on um, the food until I have to leave. I've just finished doing my skincare. My skin is feeling 
really nice at the moment. I have a YouTube video going up at 9 a.m. as well, so ideally I want to have like finished eating and doing my makeup by then, but we've got loads of time, so it's all good. All is good. GHD Curve Curling Wand, love this. I'm very sorry that the lighting in here is a little bit rogue. Hopefully you get the gist. <laughs> so, I like this because I can sort of straighten and curl at the same time. I finished my hair. It's not quite sitting how I would like. I'm gonna see if I can try and show you. Um, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I I like it, I don't know if it's just because I've literally just woken up and I've just added some extra curls in. I have just very loosely used the comb as well through it, but I don't know, I don't know what's going on. This is also driving me mad, that little bit of hair. Uh, I also have this, which was gifted to me from a company called Rehab, it's their hair tamer. And because I've got a little frizz going on on the top, you just use it like a little mascara wand. It sticks down all that little bit of frizz on the top, but I don't want too much because it's like an oil. This is what I'm going to use to keep the curls in. So I'm going to spritz this on and then I'm going to do my makeup and see how I feel. Oh God. See how I feel then. I think I'm feeling a lot of pressure to look my absolute best and I've had a lot going on and I have to get in and out of London from Gatwick. I've got so many logistics at play here and I need to let go of this, this pressure to like look a certain way. Like I'm gonna look lovely whatever. So, you know, it is what it is. Is my hair looking exactly how I want it to? Not particularly. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because I did tighter curls rather than bigger ones. But I thought that would look nicer. But actually, in, in hindsight, I think the curls look better when they're they're bigger. Let's see how it drops because we still have quite a few hours. I'm watching Sierra Schultze. She is one of my favourite vloggers. She's American. And I've got her vlog playing. But let's get started. This is the primer I'm gonna use, Rimmel Fix and Perfect. I've tried lots of primers, and I've probably repurchased this 20 times. I love it. It feels like a moisturizer, like a nice thick cream, and my foundation just sits really nicely on it. I recently discovered this brand, sculpted by Amy, what's her surname? Connolly. I actually just started following her on Instagram. She's an Irish makeup artist and she has her makeup in boots and that's why I found it. But lots of you love her products and this is the second time I've purchased this. I do, I'm right at the end of my original one but I figured that I'd take a new one away with me in case I ran out. So this is the uh, Tint and Glow Skin Enhancer. This feels so good on my skin and the fact that I've repurchased it, I think speaks volumes. I also have this gorgeous brush I bought for myself um, a few months ago now, and I love it. It's the It Cosmetics little heart-shaped brush. Don't know if you can see that. I literally just washed it. So let's go on in with this. I want like fairly good coverage, but I also don't want to look cakey, but look at the color match. So perfect, absolutely. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous about this event today. Just there's a lot of logistics at play. I have to find the specific location to pick up my tickets. I have been given specific time frames to be places and like 10 minute windows. <laughs> and a couple of my friends will be there as well and just sort of trying to find them and find the PRs and yeah, just, I don't know, do I walk the red carpet? Do I do that? I don't know, I literally have no idea. No one's gonna know who I am, so I don't, I only want to walk it if someone can take a photo for me. <laughs> Not that I uh, expect to be papped by any means. <laughs> I hope that didn't come across like that. I didn't know if like physically to get into the venue you have to walk the red carpet. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling really, really nervous. I think just because there's so much going on. I'm just trying to decide if I want to do like another layer of foundation, just so it looks a little bit more flawless looking, or if it's better to sort of be thinner and then I can just do concealer and powder. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna do that because this is looking nice, it's sitting nice. So concealer, I've got the Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection. Had this for so long, bought it so many times. I have the shade Extra Fair, number four. Obviously, I want it to be slightly lighter for underneath my eyes. I have a little blemish. Well, it's like an old spot that's just starting to heal around my lip here. And then I've got 
put a little bit on my chin there. And then I've got these like little moly bump things. I like to try and minimize. I do really like makeup, but I don't think I'm very good at makeup. It's one of those things that I sort of just wing it, you know? And finding your products and things that work for you and your skin is actually quite a process. <laughs> no one talks about that, you know, sometimes you have to trial and error things to find what works for you. Everyone likes their makeup different. I don't tend to follow any trends or I don't watch a lot of beauty videos. Uh, I just do what I think looks good. <laughs> For my powder, I've actually got this Clinique one, which I bought recently. It's the Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder Oil Free in number one Stay Buff. And I like this a lot. You can hear all the planes coming in and out with that work. I've accidentally put quite a lot of foundation and powder on my brows, and I have had them microbladed uh, within the last year, and I love how they look. But I will say I still do fill them in at this point because they just, although they look fine like this, I could just go like this. I just make them look a little bit more prominent, especially when I've got a full face makeup. But day to day when I'm not wearing any makeup, I think that's where the biggest difference is, you know? Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three. I've repurchased this so many times, it's my favorite. It's got a little brush on the end, so I'm gonna brush through, try and take out some of that foundation that I've accidentally put in there. Because they've been microbladed, I don't have to really uh, worry about the shape of them. I'm just going to follow the shape of what is already there. I'm just making them a little bit Darker, but I think some people that get microblading don't have to touch their brows at all and especially at the beginning When I, they're freshly done or topped up, I definitely don't have to touch them and I could do another top up I think I'm just going to hang in there until closer to my wedding and I'll get them topped up before we leave But for now this works for me. So as you can see, it's just starting to Take shape so that's the difference. You can see I've just shaped it slightly, a little bit darker, a little bit more prominent. And I like how that looks. I would never have been able to have done this myself, really, uh, if I hadn't had the microblading. It was well worth the investment to me, but that's because I have very fair skin. I have very light eyebrows, and naturally they're sort of barely there. So yeah, this really worked for me. I think the brows are looking quite nice. So I'm gonna put a little bit of NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel in to keep them in place. Hope for the best. I feel like I'm nearly done and it's only like half six. <laughs> I'm gonna be ready so early. I'm just thinking about how easy it is to get to the train station. On maps, it looks like it's fairly close, but I did debate whether just to get an Uber all the way there, but I don't know, it, it just is a lot cheaper to get the train and later on i think it'll be easier getting the train too so i have got a little bit of vaseline on my lips from after i um did my skincare but i'm gonna put the clinique moisture surge lip balm on as well just to keep these nice and moisturized because my lips are quite sore at the moment let's do eyeshadow i didn't bring any sort of base so let's just go back to concealer and we'll just pop a little bit more concealer on my eyes here that can be my eyeshadow base. Let me know if you've recently found any products, makeup, beauty, hair, skincare, anything that you think is really wowy or amazing. I'd love to hear from you. Even if you're in a different country or are there any brands I should like keep an eye out for, you know. Let's go in with some eyeshadow then. So I'm using the Too Faced, what's this called? The Natural Nudes Palette. I actually bought the naked, Urban Decay Naked little smaller version if some of you remember that in america and i think it's affecting my eyes like it's giving me eczema flare up so i've gone back to this because i know that this works for me it's such an amazing palette let me just show you hang on it's got a little mirror in it as well but look at the colors you can see i really love this sort of sparkly one but they're just a nice mix of nudes and browns and pinks so again, I don't think I'm very good at eyeshadow. I think we'll go for this very simple seashell nude brown color first. And then I'm gonna layer on the sparkly sand one that I like. I wish they did a small version of this because it would be much easier to travel with than having to pack this. I'm just trying to decide if I want liquid liner because I think liquid liner makes the any look look a little bit more elevated and glam, which is sort of what we're going for, aren't we? I haven't brought loads of crazy glammy makeup with me because it's just not me and I want to look and feel like me but the only thing with liquid liner is that I easily smudge it I rub my eyes and it can look a little bit ropey by the time I get there so 
not sure maybe i'll just do a very very thin light layer but anyway i'm going to use the other side of the brush and get this sparkling sand and we're going to pack this on because this is so pretty i might try and add a little bit of this white sparkling on top because we want sparkles don't we then i'm going to use this it's the double act isla shadow stick and it's got two ends so it's got one called cookies and one called cream so i'm going to use the cream end this sort of light stick and i'm just going to run that slightly underneath instead of putting eyeshadow there and then i have a charlotte tilbury the classic eyebrow pencil uh, it doesn't say what color this is mm, oh shimmering brown and i'm just going to put that on the top lash line the brand says babe lash i think i got them in a pr parcel um but i have very long lashes which i love i'm very lucky and so i have a variety of mascaras that i have been loving i'm just going to decide before i do mascara if i want to put the liquid liner on i think i will i've got the two face better than sex liquid liner let's just see how this goes <laughs> i'm going to concentrate i think but i'm just going to do a tiny bit right so here's where we're at this is how the liquid liner is looking this is how my skin's looking once i put some mascara on i think it'll look a bit better but <laughs> i recently bought a big version of this i bought a small version in america loved it so i bought a bigger version online on sephora it's the tart tartlet mascara and i really love this i also have the Too Faced better than sex mascara as well so i quite like to layer up mascaras this one's got a nice plastic wand bit of Too faced better than sex mascara this is a fluffy wand so they're different mascaras this one's just going to add a little bit more thickness my favorite combo for a really long time was benefit their real and roller lash and i still really like that how's that looking that look all right let's hope that it stays good <laughs> next is what I don't enjoy, which is my blusher, bronzer and highlighter. So for bronzer, let's do that first. I've got the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. I just love that I don't have to worry about packing two separate ones. Little Elf Kabuki brush. I can't find this in the UK anymore. I had to buy it in the US when I was next out there. When I was next out there, when I was last out there. A little bit of highlight i've got the benefit high beam which i have loved for so long so let's just put a little bit of this on i'm not going to do my lipstick until i've finished eating and then i'm going to brush my teeth and still need to do perfume as well but i'm pretty much done with the makeup so i actually have mac fix plus with me i've got a little mini version which i'm packing i did bring the big one for this part this is actually fix plus matte so i'm hoping this will mattify my skin but it smells so good so let's hope that it's just gonna set into my skin for my lips i think i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury wedding bells lipstick my friend shannon bought me this for my birthday last year and i love it i absolutely love it i have got my one and only meal of the day so i have gone a bit all out if i'm being honest so i'm gonna graze on this for the next few hours before i leave so i've got my <laughs> Uh, sausage, egg, beans and hash browns. I thought that was going to be quite filling, you know, beans fill you up. And then under here I have a pastry, hang on. Oh, there's loads of pastries, I just thought it would be one. Loads of little ones, so that's nice. Loads of sugar, milk, tea, some fruit and some toast, but there's no jam, so maybe I'll put my beans on the toast actually. We can have beans on toast. Alright, I haven't done my lipstick or anything yet, but my hair is starting to take shape nicely i have added in a couple of curls obviously and this bit's a little bit bunched but you know what for doing it myself i think it looks okay my makeup is looking all right too let's hope it stays like this because it's only half past 10 and i'm leaving in an hour so i want to put my dress on at the last minute so i'm just doing a bit of work just because i don't want to forget and as i'm killing time and waiting i have got my earrings i'm gonna wear i am not wearing a necklace because it's a high neck dress you'll see um but my mum bought me this matching set so i have a necklace version as well but uh she got me these for my birthday oh i need to drop them they are tiny little stars you're not gonna be able to fully see these they're little stars and they're sparkly and i just wanted something simple didn't want anything too fussy what's in my bafta bag <laughs> 
So I've got my driving license, my debit card and my room key. My snacks, because like I said, I'm not going to eat again until I'm out, which will probably be about 9 o'clock. Harry Bow for a bit of sugar hit, just because they were small. My portable phone charger. This is important because this is how I'm going to get back and navigate around. And I just cannot, I mean, I'm sure my phone will last, but I just can't not have it. I can fit my phone in with nothing else in it. At this point, I'm going to have to just carry my phone, you know. So I'm going to put all these things inside. <laughs> Although I haven't done many glam red carpet things like this, I have done quite a few award ceremonies. And I typically go for the same sort of style dress. Last year I did the Blogosphere Awards, I went for an off-the-shoulder thing and it drove me mad. So I told myself that in future I need to just be wearing dresses that I'm comfortable in. I had a lovely green dress from Monsoon recently for a different awards ceremony I went to. And I love Phase 8 clothes. I'm obsessed with Phase 8. My dress I wore for the garden party was also Phase 8 and I just have bought loads from them recently. So I went into store and I was served by the loveliest lady in the London store, uh, just off of Oxford Street actually. And she brought out loads of dresses for me. And originally I said to her, I only want V-neck, like all I, all the things I know tick in the boxes, floaty, sleeves, la da. And then she pulled out this dress and the minute I saw it on the hanger, I was like, mm, I don't think it's for me but she was so sweet and was like just give it a try <laughs> and just like my mum would she'd be like just give it a try ended up picking it because it just looked really sleek and comfortable and nice and I'm not trying to be the star of the show you know I just want to blend in nicely and be comfy it's actually not like a simple dress by any means it's obviously beautiful it was quite expensive I will admit but it's not very often you go to the BAFTAs is it so let me just show you it hung up I've got my underwear hanging up in a little bag behind it but this is the dress so I love liked it because the bottom was plain so I can have my lovely little sparkly bag down the bottom bit and then the top has got little sleeves and it's got all this embroidered beading it's so pretty and sparkly I thought navy was a nice color to match with Pino Cruises because their logo and company is blue um, and yeah just lovely isn't it it's got lots of layers in it I just really like it so it's a long dress zips all the way at the back really comfy let me put it on in a minute and i'll show you i just feel so glam for 11 a.m on a sunday morning i'm not gonna lie but yeah this is how it looks i love it it's very comfortable i feel like it does look nicer in person it's one of those ones but it's not my favorite dress i've ever worn in the world but it's it's appropriate, it's comfortable, it's right, it's sparkly, it's long. I don't have to worry about my stomach and any bloating or uncomfortableness or anything like that. So yeah, it's just a very pretty. Look at the back as well, it's all sparkly. Okay, now with the bag, can you see it sort of hangs there? They do look lovely though. The shoes look so nice. Look how sparkly they are. I can put my lipstick on now and then I need to pick my perfume because I've got a few choices. So I'm gonna put the wedding bells lipstick on which is going to come off probably in like half an hour also charlotte tilbury lipsticks just feel and smell lovely and then i've got one of these filter gloss by maybelline this is number two ice i love this i've used this loads right now perfume i do have my chanel coco mademoiselle joe malone wild bluebell which does smell really nice or so i've got a couple of little mini samples I'm actually gonna go chanel coco mademoiselle because <laughs> It's my most me fragrance. It's the one that makes me feel the most like me. Got it in my little travel thing here, so let's do that. Let's just hope that it stays on, because I'm not gonna carry it. Well, that was quite the experience walking through Gatwick Airport and then through the train stations. But, you know, just didn't make eye contact with anybody. I am quite close now. I have to pick up my tickets within a 10 minute window and I'm right on time. So everything's going to plan. I'm feeling extremely nervous. Like it's just all kicked in, um, but all is good, all is good. Okay, so this is where we pick up our tickets. I've just picked mine up. And I've got a drinks voucher in there too. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. We're delighted to have you as a guest at BAFTA Television Awards at Piano Cruises. Finishes around 8 o'clock. Okay, we're walking in 
and this is the beginning. So exciting. <laughs> this is where they do some professional photography. <laughs> One to start with. No one's around. Amazing. <laughs> look, at all the, look, look, look at all the signs. Can you see? We've got all the different um, companies like Sky News, oh, ITV, yes, yeah. Newsbeat. So that's getting that into news. Yeah. That's top. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yes hi you want to go to the fifth floor fifth floor the drink reception with it perfect thank you Britney's playing and look at this. <laughs> what? This is madness to me. Oh my goodness. So I'm on the balcony. So the seats are in like little booth sections. Um, and I've also got a little book. Let me show you. Here we go. I've got a little book which will have all the finalists and winners and whatnot. So I can flick through that. Oh, look at piano cruises on the back there. Amazing. Okay, so this is the view that I can see. And then if I just pan round, you'll see it goes up like this. I want to feel the heat for somebody. Okay, I'm just taking a quick break. They've got all the stuff down there. Still, this is where we were earlier. Look at that. It's so cool. So you're not allowed to film in there, but obviously it's all on TV. But it's so interesting to see the behind the scenes, all the cameras, how they move things around, the cameraman that sort of runs around and follows the people that come onto the stage. It's just really interesting to be a part of it. All the finalists and all the winners so far have been so inspiring. I honestly just want to go and watch TV. I said to Jenny, who sat next to me, I just want to go and watch that and that and all oh, that sounds good. So yeah, it really has made me uh, want to download a load of things for the planes tomorrow but it's such an amazing experience to be here i honestly do feel a little bit like i'm having an outer body experience i can't believe that this is my life and i'm here look i just i'm gonna look back at this forever so thank you piano cruises for having me i feel really really special i guess is the best way to say that yeah special yeah my makeup's looking a bit ropey now guys but that's okay I'm just so, I just can't believe we're here, it's really cool. Just like that, I am back at my hotel. I am exhausted. It is, oh, I haven't got my watch on. Where's my phone? It's like half nine, quarter ten, and I'm about to eat dinner. I've just popped to Costa, got myself a panini. I had so much fun today. How amazing that I got to do that. I'm literally going to rip this dress off, so once I do, I'm then going to get in the shower, I'm going to eat. But um, I, before I finish it, I just wanted to say that I wasn't feeling my very best self. I haven't been feeling super confident. I did talk about this recently and I've just been really struggling with what looks nice on me. And this dress was very different actually for me. I normally go for a V-neck and it was actually the lady in phase eight that helped me pick it. And I wasn't 100% sure. And then when all your DMs came in and said how lovely I looked, it was such a lovely confidence boost. And it just really made me feel good and gave me all the energy and motivation and positivity I needed to carry me through and have the best day ever. So thank you so much. It was honestly wild to do that. I will never forget it. Seeing the cameras and seeing everything there, the red carpet, all the celebrities, it was just such a cool experience. So obviously it goes without saying, I've said this before, but without you guys watching and supporting me, I would never get to do things like this. My partnership with Piano Cruises, I never imagined it would extend beyond these amazing trips we already get to do that are incredible. So the fact that they've invited me to come do this today was just another thing that I just do not take for granted. I just feel really lucky that I had that experience. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for it. Uh, I know it's been long enough really and I've got a lot to do. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much to Piano Cruises and the BAFTAs for having me. Thank you for watching and I'll be back very, very soon with an anti Tiga blog. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss that and I'll see you again very soon. Bye! <laughs>